Thank you for talking to me about what seems like it was probably a very fun character to get to explore. <laughs> yeah, no, she was a blast. Uh, I'm curious, when the opportunity to play one of these nine perfect strangers came your way, what was it that got you most interested about the project, since there are so many interesting There's so many things! There's so many things I got excited about. Um, probably selfishly was that it was filming in Australia, and, you know, in this pandemic, it's so hard to get in and out of that country, and um, I jumped at the opportunity to be able to go there and... Um, see my family and friends over there because it's kind of impossible now yeah I mean while you were shooting this did it sort of feel like you were in your own little world totally it was really surreal it kind of feels like a dream now because it was like a year and a bit ago um you know we were in this like in paradise (laughs) in the middle of it felt really strange it was like we what if I this doesn't Ah, we should be in lockdown but um you know Australia did such a great job of containing everything that everything was open and we could hang out and you know we were by the beach and we would just either be at this wellness retreat or we'd be in a waterfall or something it was it was ridiculous how involved was the process of creating the look for your character and how much did that help you in finding who she was so much I mean the hair and makeup department and the wardrobe department as well did the real heavy lifting, you know. Um, we would email back and forth about different looks we wanted and different outfits. And, um, the yeah, when we did the makeup test, um, that was when I really felt uh, Jessica sort of come to life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's some wild stuff that happens in this show and um one of those things is and obviously I'll save it till after it's a spoiler but it's having your nose fall off (laughs) what what was that like to do it was I was so nervous because I think it was like the second or third scene I had done with Nicole and I was like I guess I'm just gonna have to go for it and then she's gonna come in (laughs) Um, but they didn't use any uh, makeup, which is cool. They just had like CGI. So they just had dots on my face and then this like funny prop of just my nose. Um, I was practicing at home in the mirror with, uh, with my, with my partner of like, okay, is this a funny scream? Like, should I drop it like this? Should I, you know, how would I, what's the truth behind this? Um, it was really fun. I would also imagine that you could never have pictured yourself in a delivery scene with Luke Evans delivering Avi Cannavale's baby. So what goes through your head when you're in a moment like that? Just trying not to laugh. They were so <laughs> committed to it because that's what made it so funny and so weird. And it just made me laugh and I just had to bite my tongue. <laughs> One of the sequences that I most enjoyed was the potato sack race because everybody actually seems to be having so much fun in it. What was that like to shoot and how long did you have to spend doing that? If I remember correctly, I think we did it in a day or maybe two days mixed with some other scenes, but it was so fun. I mean, the sun was out and it was beautiful green grass and we were all just getting really into it. I loved when um, they used a slow-mo camera and we could re-watch everyone's slow-mo face. It was, <laughs> that was fun. If you're going to get screwed around with by anyone, it seems like Nicole Kidman is a good choice to be doing that to you. So what did you most enjoy about exploring that dynamic between your characters and having someone like her as a scene partner, especially with some of the the craziness that goes on? Yeah, I mean, she's such a generous actor. She really gives you space to play and find the scene. And um, she's so patient. It was amazing. yeah she was she's just a wonderful and you know she was a producer and so she was a fabulous leader as well her and melissa you know and all the women who were producing this i mean bruna and molly and oh it was awesome what was your reaction to the ending of the series learning where things would be left and and how your character would end up yeah we actually didn't get the final um episode script until like I think three months into shooting or maybe longer. Um, And it was really cool to like read 
where your character is going to end up in real time. We'd kind of heard rumors and we were wondering about it. Like Melvin and I would talk about, I wonder where it, Ben and Jessica end up and is it going to be like the book or is it going to be different? And it was awesome. What was the most challenging part of this shoot? Was there a scene or a moment that was most difficult? Because you do also have a lot of emotional levels that you go through. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the most challenging part, I think, was like the amount of fake tans I'd have to go and get, <laughs> getting my nails really done and like getting my hair redone. <laughs> I just cannot. I have such admiration for women who do that on a weekly basis i do not have the patience for it so that was that was the most chance. those nails they were like three inches long <laughs> trying to do stuff was really hard it's very impressive anybody that can pull off the nails just in every yeah. life <laughs> love it what was it like to see yourself with the tan i mean especially the first time because it seems like it's you know it's quite noticeable yeah, I mean, if I stay in the sun long enough, I can get pretty dark. I just, I'm too lazy to lie, lie out. And, you know, in Australia, there's such, um, you know, uh, you can get like skin cancer really easily. So I've been told to stay out of the sun. But uh, it was, um, <laughs> it was interesting. I mean, my partner, Jimmy, was, I think, more <laughs> surprised than I was. What was it like? I mean, you are one of the characters that goes into this as a couple. So what was it like actually having somebody by your side to go through this with and to have that dynamic to explore? Yeah, it was really, it was really interesting. And I love Melvin, you know, we would get together beforehand and sort of talk about these scenes because the scenes were really nuts and crazy and it was hard to keep track of where our characters were at each time so it was really good to be able to just have someone to whisper like okay where are we in this one okay we've just had the... okay so we're here you know um yeah it was good to have you know like a a partner through it all and being able to explore not just what Jessica's going through but what Jessica and Ben are going through as a couple as well well, I appreciate you talking to me about it. I had so much fun with your character and getting to see you in a role like this. So oh, thank, thank you. you.